You're new to UCF and you don't know what to do. So we're going to give you a few fast pointers that should leave you with a pretty solid weekend to match your pretty solid week. Eat, drink, repeat. Between the eateries on campus and the joints along the main strip, there's no shortage of good places to go for some grub and a brew. Small businesses and big chains alike have done an excellent job of establishing themselves in the UCF area, which is convenient for those who don't own a car. My personal favorite is a specialty pizzeria called Mellow Mushroom, a fantastic restaurant less than three miles from campus with a creative, funky menu and a great selection of craft beers to choose from. Go Knights. Go to a UCF sporting event. Florida schools get some of the best athletic recruits in the country. As a result, Florida sports teams are fun to watch. During the fall, you've got tailgating and football games, and during the spring, you've got basketball and baseball, although most basketball games are on Wednesdays and Thursdays, but check to be sure. This is a great way to spend a few hours outside and meet people on campus. That's what we call a win-win, my friend. Best in show, live acts, and other events. The campus is host to many different shows and events that are either very affordable or free of charge. I personally saw stand-up comedians Charlie Murphy and Nick Swartzen for free. The arena also hosts a handful of concerts each month. Featured acts have included Five Finger Death Punch, Kendrick Lamar, and Steve Aoki. There are other on-campus events like Tent City and Habitat for Humanity's annual Shackathon competition. Grab a cup of joe and tour campus. Orlando may not have the rolling hills of Tallahassee or other areas of northern Florida, but the UCF campus is undeniably beautiful in its own right. A healthy amount of landscaping and maintenance have made this campus an absolute delight to roam around, especially at night when it gets cooler. So if you don't feel like going far and you want to keep the night inexpensive, stop by one of the many coffee shops on campus, grab a $5 latte, and just walk around. RSOs are almost always doing something. Student organizations usually hold their meetings on weeknights, but some have them on weekends too. RSOs also plan small events on campus over the weekend. I personally participated in several on-campus pond cleanups on Saturdays. This was a great way to spend some time outdoors, meet new people, and keep the campus looking sharp. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.